Hey everybody, it's Serena and this is your weekly energy forecast for this week. But uh, in case you're new to this, I'll just kind of give you the full lay down of how this works. Um, because energy is energy, it's not running on a linear basis. I also believe that even though this is intended to be uh, the energy forecast for this week, whoop, hello flying card. There we go. Um, that if you stumble upon this video one week, two week, three months from now, doesn't really matter. I still believe that this is the energy message that you are intended to work with at the time you find it. Now, if you can hear that crazy scratching going on, that would be my kitten who has been absolutely silent until just now when he realized that I hit record. So naturally he has to create some shenanigans on the other side of the door. What can you do? Okay. So before I get too far into this, I also just wanted to make a quick note uh, with a tiny little plug here, actually. Uh, there are still tickets available for Vivid Visioning, which is happening next week on Friday and Saturday. So Friday evening is going to be the online event and Saturday afternoon is going to be the in-person event happening in Vancouver, BC. Now, the reason I'm mentioning this is because I've actually decided to do a giveaway. So everybody who comes to Vivid Visioning is going to be entered to win um, one energy forecast. So a private version of what we're doing each week here that is going to be your energy forecast for all of 2020. So far, the ones that I've done have had really uh, wonderful output, particularly for people who are planning really big things this year or who are running businesses and they want to be able to kind of use what their personal energies are going to be um, to plan out how they want to conduct themselves and make some big changes this year. So if that's something that really appeals to you, it's a one hour session. They're normally $111, but like I said, I'm going to be giving one away to everybody who attends Vivid Visioning, which is 33 bucks Canadian. So I will put the link to that in this description once the video goes live. And, um, I hope I'll see you next week at Vivid Visioning because it's really going to be a beautiful experience. Okay, so this week while I was shuffling, I had a jumper card, uh, which means that not only is that going to be the clear message for this week, but that it is when they're jumpers, it means that there's something that we're really being called to pay attention to. So in this type of a case, this is like an like, I don't want to call it an SOS because it feels a bit traumatic, but it is something that we really need to pay attention to. And the card that leapt out is Archangel Jeremiah. So Jeremiah is the archangel that's really tied to forgiveness. So the first thing that I'm seeing is that many of us have already started to kind of fall back on our resolutions and our intentions for this year. And so there's a little bit of um, a little bit of self-loathing, a little bit of self-hatred that's happening because we haven't been able to maintain this. And really what I'm hearing is that while, yes, there is this invitation for us to be able to forgive ourselves for lapsing on these things, more importantly, what we're being asked to look at is why we have lapsed on these things. Oftentimes this is going to be happening because the things that we intended are actually not aligned with our highest good. It's not really what would best serve us right now, but it's for whatever reason, what we thought was like the thing that we were supposed to do, that we were supposed to aspire towards. And if that is the case, it is an absolutely brilliant thing that you have lapsed on it because it wasn't what was aligned for you and aligned for your highest good. However, other times is that sometimes when we start to build a little bit of momentum with our goals and our aspirations, we get just the tiniest little glimpse of the life that's on the other side of that and how exciting it is and how um, powerful it is and how powerful we are, the person who is living that life. And we start to feel what that looks like for us. And while expansion is this really beautiful thing and we get to have more impact and we get to touch more lives and we get to make deeper connections and there's all this really great stuff that comes with it, it's not without its growing pains as well. So sometimes it means that things shake up in our personal lives or we have a little bit less time than we would have otherwise, or we have to have more discipline and able to live and able to, in order to be able to live in this way, whereas we had a little bit more freedom and we were able to be a little bit more willy nilly when we were playing small. And so when we have this kind of glimpse of our greatness, where we see what it can look like on the other side, and what is asked of us in order to make that, oftentimes we start to go like, 
So we've expanded and we've like created more space and we've stepped into more. And then we immediately contract because we have fear and we have discomfort because we forget that just because we're growing doesn't mean that it's always going to be cozy. I remember as a kid, um, every time I would have growth spurts, I would get these immense pains in my legs that would actually keep me up at night because stretching and growing is not always comfortable. And we need to be willing to challenge that. If these things are what we truly want, then we need to get comfortable with being uncomfortable so that we can step into that energy and so that we can claim that greatness for ourselves. And so how does that tie back to forgiveness? When we get into this place where we can recognize that, yes, I do really want these things, but I sabotaged it because I wigged out a little bit, then we have to come back to just this deep compassion for ourselves so that we can forgive ourselves for having uh, gotten in the way of this next step. There's no such thing as one time to start. So even though we have these desires to set our intentions and to um, claim this, you know, new year, new me thing on January the 1st, doesn't mean that if you slip back a little bit that you can't start again right here, right now. So the first part of this, the, of this message is to really look at kind of where maybe you've kind of slouched a little bit and let things go and why. Is it because it wasn't actually what you wanted and it's not actually aligned? Or is it because you saw a glimpse of what was on the other side and you wigged out a little bit? No matter which one of those cases it is, it's absolutely okay. But just look at that part of yourself with deep, deep, deep compassion. From there, you're going to make some little resolutions with yourself, whether it's forgiving yourself for making goals that were not actually aligned to you because you believe that they were what you were supposed to do, or whether it's for sabotaging these things that are aligned for you because you got a little bit scared and you got stuck in your human self. And you're just going to go to this deep, beautiful place of compassion. And we can ask Archangel Jeremiah to come in to support that and to really create this beautiful mm, bubble of possibility for ourselves so that we can get to a place where we can tap into what the truth is. So that if it is the, the case of the self-sabotage, that we can just kind of get back on the horse and keep going. And if it is the case that it was something that wasn't properly aligned for us, that we then say, you know what? Okay, no problem. I'm going to go ahead and create something new now, something that does feel more aligned. And at least if I don't know what that is, I'm going to try. In either way, you are in really good hands because you are completely lovingly guided and protected by the angels, by your guides and beyond. Okay, that is the message for this week, my loves. I really hope this resonates for you. Do let me know in the comments how it feels. And I'll be back with you next week with a new energy forecast. Okay, take care.